<clears throat> hey, happy Humber Wednesday. Actually, I don't, I don't know if this is going to play on a, on a Humber Wednesday, but... Uh, so I got some beer mail in. I'm actually brewing right now. I'm brewing a... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be... I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to call it. It's going to be... Hopefully it's going to be my new house ale. I tried it with Nelson Calrissian and didn't quite work out, so uh, I'm going to try another recipe here. And I'm actually going to take this to an office party, so... Anyway, um, it's got some... It's going to be real little toffee, caramel... A real kind of malty American pale uh, using Galaxy and uh, Ron Mexico hop, so we'll see how it comes out. But the reason I'm filming this is because uh, I got a beer mail delivery from the Clements uh, Homebrew, and uh, it was really cool. They gave me a coffee mug, uh, which I've already sent a picture to Kevin of me and his coffee mug. And uh, you know, when I saw the coffee mug, I started hearing that theme music to all his Homebrew Wednesdays. You know, the do 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 do. You know. Um, but uh, he sent me three beers. Uh, two of them I'm going to save because they're like chocolatey, peanut butter kind of kind of beers. Uh, and one's a cherry bourbon stout. Uh, but this one here is, uh, I love Irish Reds. And I guess his son Christopher uh, had a, uh, a beer called uh, Hoppy Red Kilt Riser. Uh, and this is it right here. Am I pointing that the right way? There you go. Hoppy, hoppy uh, Red Kilt Riser. It's a Imperial Red, 9.3%, I, I believe. Yeah, 9.3%. It's got 50, a little over 50 IBUs. And uh, this was bottled back in May of 2014. So it's aged quite a bit. So anyway, so let's go ahead and crack this. I love Irish Reds. I just I just tapped, uh, or I just, just uh, killed uh, Remorseful Leprechaun. And uh, I really like that one, but I really like anything Imperial, so a lot of great expectations for this one. So let's get into it. Didn't realize that it had tape on it. I should have. But it should be good. Ooh, it smells good. I don't know if he bottle conditions or not, and I guess it doesn't really matter because this is a Irish red. So it is. Uh, I don't think it's clear. Yeah, it's not clear. It's kind of hazy. Uh, it just looks like a lot of malt. Uh, it's certainly red. Um, it's going for aroma. Hmm. That's a great smelling malt there. You know, and I don't know if it's a water thing, but, you know, I do malty beers, but, you know, the beers that I get, like when I did the SJ Pour Challenge, they have this this character to them, this malty character. And mine don't quite get the same aroma. Hmm. I like it, though. Yeah, it's just in your face malt. Can't tell what hop he used, but uh, let me see if he wrote it on here. Um, yeah, it doesn't really say. It just says, guaranteed to give your spirits a lift. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into this. Cheers. Oh wow, that's a lot of, that's a lot of malt. It's like you can taste the grain, and I can taste that Irish ale yeast character. I remember it from my Remorseful Leprechaun. Um, it's interesting. It's almost like uh, some of the porters that I've uh, drank from the uh, SJ Pour Eastern Hub. It tastes a lot like the porters, but with the, the malty sweetness instead of the toasty, you know, kind of aftertaste. But it has that same kind of character, and that's the aroma I think I'm getting too. So I'm not sure if he used uh, Maris Otter or what kind of what kind of uh, what kind of grains he used. Um, but it's got that 
got that distinct aroma. I'm wondering if you bottle conditioned it too. Maybe maybe some of these are bottle conditioned and not K conditioned like I do mine, and that's it gives it a certain uh, aroma. But this is an excellent beer. It's going to be kicking my butt, I think. So uh, I'm not going to drink this whole thing uh, here on this video. I'll be sipping it as I finish this this beer I'm brewing back here behind me. But hey, Christopher, love this beer. Don't know how far you made it in the SJ4 uh, this past year, but this is a great beer. And thank you to Kevin for sending me these three. I've got two more beers to review for you guys. Mm. Wow. And if they're as good as this one, it's going to be it's going to be a great review. Anyway, uh, have yourself a happy homebrew and a happy homebrew Wednesday. Cheers.